Hey guys, Buckskin Paint Lover here, and I will be making a video of how to make a cute little like change cup or whatever you want to use it for. Uh, and it's a DIY video, obviously. Um, so yeah. First, you will be needing just a clear cup like this. This isn't perfectly clear, but you can still see kind of through it, which I like. Um, and this one I just got from, like, a, I bought cheese and it was in this container. And then I'm using it. So that's reu reduce, reuse, recycle, or whatever that saying is. So you'll need that. And then I just like having a paintbrush. This one already got used to paint with, and I never washed it out. So it's kind of hard, as you can see. But I just use that to, you know, make designs in the nail polish. And I am not going to, I might use this brush. I'm not sure. Because this is the only one I have left, but I'm probably going to be able to get some more soon. And they're only like, they're 49 cents. So, how much was this one? Yeah, it doesn't say, but I believe this was like 49 cents, so I got two of them. And the other one got wrecked, because I didn't wash it out. Oops. <laughs> so, you'll be needing one of these. Oops. It's a choice to have one of those. Then you'll be needing some nail polishes. I just chose these, um, blah. Just chose these Kiss Nail Art paints. Nail Art paints. And they have skinny brushes, so you can make cool designs with them. And then the last thing, huh you will be needing is optional. I just like having a few, you know, thumbtacks to make more designs in the nail polish, just skinny designs. Um, so yeah, that is everything that I will be needing, plus the brush that dropped. First, you will be start off by taking your cup and one of your nail polishes, which I have already opened. Take that, and you want to make sure you have some nail polish on it that can drip. So then you can basically just start randomly painting on inside of the container. So, yeah. And with this nail polish, you can see it through the outside. But it still stays protected. I couldn't open the blue, where is it, the blue or the green. So I decided to use this Tiptoe Red Nail Polish. And i do it that way. And this is what it came out to look like. As you can see, you can still see the pink through it. But then as I added the red, it became more of a maroonish color, hot pink maroon. And inside, I just dabbed the big brush on that one, the normal size brush, on over the pink. The pink was still wet. I didn't let the pink dry. And it ended up looking really cool. And now I'm going to do the bottom. Okay, so I decided that that pink, just that plain pink, was not enough. So I ended up using this Oppie Nail Liqueur. It's just a very light pink. And I added it in some places, like right there. And, yeah. And then I decided, oh, that's not enough. It doesn't look good. You know, it, I mean, it looks good. But it doesn't look as good as I'd want it to look. So I ended up opening the green. I used all my might to open it. And I ended up just, you know, drizzling it on from the actual bottle, which works 
a lot better. Then I used my handy dandy thumbtack and just, you know, went like that to mix it all in. And this is what it looks like now. You can kind of see the green coming through the pink, which I like that. It kind of adds a little hint. But then the inside also looks really cool. So once this dries, I am going to be adding a little sealant Mod Podge on the inside just to make sure that the things I put in here don't get, you know, don't scrape the paint off because nail polish can have that effect. And it is kind of clumped on, like that green, it's clumped on and stuff. So that's why I'm going to add some handy dandy Mod Podge onto it, which I love Mod Podge. It's my world. So yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Bye.